Disclaimer: This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content provided by this channel is made for educational purpose only. Welcome guys, you are watching Zarki Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you how hackers crack passwords. Passwords are not saved as plain text. All websites of this age on internet use as a hashing algorithm to encrypt and manage passwords. There are many types of hashing algorithms like SHA1, MD5, MD6, Tiger, SHA256, etc. As an example, let's consider Facebook. The first time when we create a Facebook account, we have to fill a form like this, which contain our name, our age, our email, our birth date, and it asks us to choose a password. Once we click on sign up, this data is sent to Facebook's database, while our name, our gender, our age, and email address are found. But what about the passwords? As I already told you, passwords are never be saved as a plain text in the website database. So this password is given an input to a hashing algorithm and the output given by this hashing algorithm is the encrypted form of the password which appears to be random but is not. This hashed password is saved in the Facebook database but not the plain text. Which means the password which we enter will never be saved on the Facebook database as a plain text. Instead, only the hashed password are saved in the Facebook database. Now suppose hackers gain access into Facebook database where they can find name, gender, age, email and password of their victim. Those hackers from this information can't be able to log in any specific user account because the password is encrypted. If the hacker tries to log any specific user account with the hashed password, he will not be providing access. He only needs to enter a password which is in the plain text form. So what did the hacker do now? Here the only possible way is to reverse the hash into this plain text form which is highly impossible because the hash is one way function and the plain text form of a hash cannot be obtained from the hash itself. So what did the hacker do now? If you are using a common password like 123456, then the hacker will easily able to know the plain text form of your password from the hash string. There is a table known as rainbow tables. These rainbow tables contain the password hashes of numerous commonly used passwords along with their plain text forms. So the hacker will be able to do a simple search with a password hash that he has. And if the password hash exists in the rainbow table, that means the password is successfully cracked and we now have the password in plain text form. Remember that the rainbow tables contain the password hashes of only the passwords which are commonly used. But if the password is not commonly used password, in that case the rainbow table attack are of no use. There comes dictionary attack and brute force attack. Both are quite similar. In dictionary attack, you have a word list. Word list is a huge text file with loads of passwords. In this attack, the hacker writes a code which compares the password hash to be cracked with the password hash of each and every password that exists in the word list file. If any hash is made, that means the cracking is successful and we now have the plain text form of a hashed password. Now this attack can be target specific as well, which means you can actually create your own word list targeting a specific person provided that you know some basic traits about him and assuming that, that he is using his basic traits to frame his password. This attack can be success or failure, depends upon the quality of word list that you have created. Now let's talk about brute force attack. In a brute force attack, each and every combination of letters, symbols and numbers are converted into their hash forms and then compared with the password hash which is to be cracked. That means you are literally taking every possible password that can exist, convert it into its hash and check if the hashes match. So yes, we can also say that it literally takes forever to crack a strong password using this method. But it can easily crack any weak password like 12345654321, poverty, etc. A new technique called salting is introduced to give hackers a hard time in cracking passwords. In this technique, specific combination of characters are inserted in specific positions of the plain text the password before hashing. Every company has its own sorting algorithm and they don't make their sorting algorithm public. For example, let's say Facebook sorting algorithm inside the string is AL as the, and at the beginning after the 50 character and at the end of the plain text password. After sorting the password, the salty password is then hashed by hashing algorithm. So when the salt is used, rainbow table are of no use, even if the password to be cracked is weak and commonly used password. Because the hash of the password without salting do not match the hash of the password which is salted. Also, the brute force attack and dictionary attack are not effective due to salted passwords. Unless the hacker already knows the salting algorithm employed by the company. So, if you like our video, like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Zarki Tech, which upload videos related to technology and ethical hacking.